What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model Leza Soho Tower in Revit. I hope I pronounced that right. Now this is this amazing tower, it's actually two towers inside of one and it has this cool atrium in the middle and it's really amazing so I thought it would be a cool challenge to try to model in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and if you want to download Download this project file that I'm going to be modeling now. Uh, you can check out the link in the description to my Patreon. You can download all of my project files over there. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project. And if you can hear rain in the background, sorry about that. It's just raining and I can't really make it stop. <laughs> okay, so here we are in Revit. And first let's set the levels. So I'm just going to go to South Elevation and we already have two levels. So I'm just going to type in LL and add a couple of more. And before we set those levels up, I'm going to set the units. So I'm just going to type in UN for project units. And then for the length, I'm just going to change this to meters. Hit OK, hit OK. And now all of these units are in meters. So for the top level or for the top height of the building, I don't know the actual building height, but let's just say it's like 60 meters. Then for uh, the second one, uh, let's say this is at 40 meters and this should be at 20. Uh, now keep in mind that these aren't actual uh, levels, these are just uh, work planes that we're going to be using to model, uh, to just model the building and then we're going to be adding the levels in between uh, later on. So for now uh, let's just use these four levels and to model the building let's go to massing inside because this will be modeled as an in-place mass. Turn on show mass and then just go in-place mass, let's call it mass 1. Okay, so once you're here, uh, let's go into level 1 and this is where we're going to be starting and I'm just going to go with a simple circle, start from the middle and just create a, I don't know, like 20 meter diameter circle. Okay, so once we have this circle, I'm just going to hit modify and now select the circle, go here to copy, paste, align to selected levels and go with 2 and 4, hit OK. Now if you go into 3D, as you can see now we've got this circle on levels 2 and 4. And here on level 2 I'm just going to make it larger, so like 24 meters maybe. Uh, that might be a bit too, too large, 23. Okay, this works. And then just go here to copy, paste, align to selected levels and level 3. So the two in the middle should be a bit wider than the, the one on top and the one on bottom. This will allow us to get that uh, kind of barrel shape that we want for this building. So I'm just going to select all of those, go create form and there we go. And you just go finish mess and there you go, that's your building. Just kidding, <laughs> don't worry, we're going to be modeling the rest of it. Okay, so we've got the outer shell modeled as an in-place mass, but now let's do the inside part or the actual towers. So for that go again to massing inside, in-place mass and this has to be a separate mass. So just go here, a mass 2 and let's go into level 1. Okay, so here go to that same circle and uh, because you can't really find the center when I go to make a circle, I can't really find the center of this. You just go with a simple line and you go from this point all the way to the other side and once we have that line we have the center point so just go with a simple circle from the midpoint of that line. Now make sure that it's uh, a bit smaller than the outside uh, barrel, <laughs> if you can call it a barrel. Okay, so you just make that, uh, that circle. And it's, if it's grayed out like this, uh, you can go to wireframe maybe to make it appear uh, a bit better. Okay, so once we have this, uh, let's go here to spline. Uh, and I like to use spline through points. You can use this uh, basic spline, but uh, it's a bit trickier. So I just prefer spline through points. And here you can set this to draw on work plane just so you don't accidentally mess something up. Okay, so just go with the spline and you go from uh, one side and then you just make that kind of splinish shape. Okay, and you finish there. Then you hit spline again, you go from the same side, okay, you make it a bit wider over here, and there you go. Okay, so just go to modify. Okay, it's kind of going too much in one direction, so I'm just going to move these lines a bit, or these, these points, so kind of like that. Okay, and then move these points as well. Okay, let's say I'm happy uh, with how this turned out. 
let's say this is OK. Now we need to cut through this circle and just delete the center line. We don't need it anymore. So now just go SL for split line or split element and make one split here, one split here, one incision here and one incision here. Now I feel like a surgeon. <laughs> OK, so now you uh, hover over this line. You hit tab once, you select this line, hit delete. And you hover over this, hit tab once, select the line, hit delete. And now you just want to make sure that these points are aligned to the ends, ends of these uh, these arcs. And do the same thing on the other side, end of the arc, end of the arc. Okay, so once we have this, this whole shape is completed. Now we just select the whole thing, go into 3D. Yeah, select the whole thing, go copy, paste, align to selected levels. And again, you're going to go with number two and number four. Hit OK. There we go. So for this one, we need to scale it and make it larger, but there's a problem and I'm just going to show you what it is. So if I select this, go into level two, and if I go here to scale, as you can see, we cannot scale. So unfortunately, we have to make a whole nother thing. So it's uh, we're losing a bit of time, but I mean, we're creating this building pretty fast, so I don't think that's a problem. So just create one line like this. So you get a center point, then you go with a circle and you just make a, a larger circle like this. Can we do it? Uh, let's do 21 meters. Okay, so now you do the same thing with the spline, but make sure that the, the opening is a bit larger on uh, both ends. So spline, yeah, go like this. Okay, and then again, you make a larger opening. Hit escape, go spline again. So you can do the place the middle points at the same uh, at the same places, but for the outer ones, make sure that they're further apart. Okay, now we can delete this. So just delete this line, this line, this line, this line. Okay, and now again we go S L for split. Oops, S L for split element. We split it here, split it here, split it here, and split it here. Okay. Hover over it, hit tab key once, delete this, over this one, hit the tab key once, delete it, zoom in a bit, and move this line to there, and go on the other side, move this point to there, and do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay, that one, and this one as well. Okay, so, is it? Okay, I messed up there. Okay, now it's right. Okay, so we have that, go into 3D again, uh, just delete the middle line, we don't need it. Now orbit around, select this whole thing, go copy, paste, align to selected levels, level 3, ok. Ok, so once we have this, now we need to make that little spin. So to do that, uh, just select this whole upper thing, uh, go into rotate and rotate it for, I don't know, like 15 degrees. Then you go with the top two, rotate 15 degrees and with just the top one, rotate and yeah you guessed it 15 degrees okay so once we have this now it's the tricky point we need to connect it all so for connecting it you need to go and select only one side and if you hit the tab key as you can see it doesn't want to select it and i don't know why is it doing that but unfortunately it is so we need to do this manually so hold that control key and just start selecting on only one side only one half of the building so select one half go create form and if it doesn't want to do it, you just need to zoom in and see where the problem is. Okay, and as you can see, here's the problem. Let's see, on the other side. Okay, this side was okay. So that problem probably appears over here as well. Yeah. Okay, this should work now. So sometimes when you don't align things right, uh, it gives you that error message and it doesn't want to connect so just keep that in mind let's hope this works there we go it works now okay let's do the bottom or the second one so just do all of the elements on the second one like that create form there we go so there's that legendary shape so you just go finish mass and you're back into your project and it looks a bit weird now but now we can add some levels so let's go to uh, south elevation for example let's extend these levels so they're uh, they're outside of the building so now go again ll let's go pick lines offset 
or maybe let's do array maybe that will be quicker so array this at to last let's do four and let's go by 16 meters there we go this works okay and should this be lower yeah I guess this works okay so now I can just copy this upward yeah there you go so just try to find the quickest way to get more levels of course you can add more levels in between I didn't measure the distances yeah this is around five meters yeah you can make this a lot smaller but anyway you get the point or you can add a lot more levels but now we need to select this uh, inside so as you can see we've got the outside barrel and the inside towers so just select the towers and go to mass floors then you go from level 1 to level 13 you just hold the shift key select it all hit check and just wait for a second and it's going to give you mass floors now uh, you go here to massing in sight floor and you do select multiple so you select everything you go create floor and there you go so now if I zoom in we actually have floors and for the outside uh, we need to have our curtain system so for that let's select this side and this side as well go create system wait for a second there we go and maybe I'd like to add a system on these inside uh, walls create system let's see what that looks like come on oh there we go and uh, just for the fun of it let's create a camera inside I think that would be really cool so go to level one and go with the camera open this view up just like that okay and now go with uh, your little full navigation wheel and you look up and you get this thing now there's a view okay this looks really amazing I'm really happy with the way this turned out can we create maybe a shaded view? Ooh, that looks nice. Uh, realistic. Maybe realistic is going to mess it up a bit. Yeah, but you can go here to graphic display options and uh, maybe uh, ambient shadows, maybe lighting. Yeah. Just brighten it up a bit. And shading. Yeah. Okay, now this looks really amazing. Okay, so there you go. That's how you create this uh, cool looking Leza Solo Tower. Uh, if I messed up the pronunciation, sorry. But anyway, that's how you do it. And if you want to download this project file as well as all of my other Revit project files, make sure to check out the first link in the description to my Patreon for only $5 a month. You get access to everything I do online and all of my Revit files. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for sticking to the end. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends that maybe don't know how to model this tower in Revit. Okay, and if you have any questions or maybe comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Okay, thank you for watching and have a nice day.